throwing it went to the left of the flag. That ball put into the box. Right to Mustafa though. Salisbury within threatening distance. We'll see if they try to put it up and get ahead on it or if they go for the pass. Everybody's moving towards the box. Humphreys with a low angle kick. When goal kicks are kicked on that side. Corners with a far shot. That is, we'll move it back and just look to set up. Sharp with a good move. Tries to make one last move around Jones. But just couldn't finish it off. Salisbury will be awarded the corner kick, though. Salisbury did a good job making moves towards the box. They have a shot. I think it was deflected just as the shot was taken, allowing either team really pulling away at all. Salisbury has been doing a little bit better of a job moving it deep into the box lately, but Toronto will make another. Uh, Cornish, who is six foot three, and you know adds the height over everybody else in the box. Stately thought about coming out to challenge the ball. Salisbury down near the corner again. <clears throat> Tried to take the free kick very quickly, the official calling it right back. As it seems that they have besides being a threat on defense, usually taking these free kicks. Tries to kick it very. Alex Brainerd out for Frostburg. But what's been impressive is that Frostburg's come out and they look like they've been ready to play and Salisbury is now just getting into the swing of their offense late in this first half. Arithi gets around his defender. Good pass for Fowler. Salisbury looks like it's going to take the shot. Defender. Now Salisbury with the corner kick. And a great save by Toronto. Had and right there we saw that Salisbury was not held back by the officials and they were able to get off the quick pass. And they try to cross it from the far side of the box, but it's just knocked down by the Frostburg defense. Let's see if he can connect with Larry Cornish, who is, like we mentioned earlier, very tall and can soar above the rest of the players. And they try to cross. Cornish looking to make his move downfield. Puts it ahead. Salisbury's got a decent chance here. 
crossed into the box a little bit too low, so the Frostburg defense able to get it out. There's another try right now. by Tanner East to try to get closer to the goal. It is turned away, but Salisbury is still controlling. Cornish able to get his head on it. And Mustafa with another great. These midfield battles for the ball have been very interesting all game. Both sides doing a great job to make turnovers. And then they immediately make their way towards the goal like Salisbury did there. Now Ariti puts a ball towards the net, but none of the other forwards are there in time. Green is able to get to the ball. Here's a good chance for a shot, but it's punched away by Mustafa. Fowler will take a shot this time, and that goes just wide. Just wide, and that was, it might have been. Might have been Poorman number eight. It was Stephen Poorman. He had a wide open shot. Mustafa was right in the middle of the net. Mustafa didn't have to move at all for that save. Thoughts? Probably his easiest save of this game so far this afternoon. Mustafa playing exactly the game that Frostburg needed him to play. Ariti will just try to drill it. Team and possibly miss the CAC final if their team's able to win. Ariti so dangerous for Salisbury. It's kicked away. Kicked away by one of the last defenders. It looked like Billy Fowler had a clear shot to the goal. Ariti does control that. Salisbury's got a chance. Player's going to be taken down. It is a foul. Frostburg with a big wall right in front of the goal, right in front of the kick. Not really worrying about anybody else, but Salisbury kicks it right into the wall. And Fowler will back up for one of these long throw-ins. And it seems the longer this game stays tied, the more energy and more they believe that they can win this game. Halfway through the first half, but just not able to capitalize on it. Mustafa making tons of great saves. Perry's going to try to cross it, but it goes. And how quickly they turned it right back over to Salisbury. Ariti does take the shot after he beats the defender. Not a hard kick at all. And Salisbury does score the goal off the free kick. Both of them usually taking the free kicks. We'll see which one does take it. And it's Humphreys, but Mustafa with another great. Humphreys with a great slide tackle. 